Hello, my name is Jörg and welcome to Coach Red. In the prior video, we updated the task. This will be a short video to update the checkbox field, our done field. This will be done directly on the list items page. So I select the checkbox field to open the logic section. And here is the component on change event. So every time our checkbox changes its value, this gets triggered. And I want to change the record in the database. I do that with the HTTP request. Heading over to the Firebase developer documentation, I get the necessary information. Patch will update a record for me. The HTTP method is patch. The resource URL still is the same. And under document.name, I find the document path. Plus, I need a document in the request body since I'm sending data. Okay, I have all the information I need and head over to AppGyver to configure my HTTP request. The URL is first. I use a formula to concatenate the app variable resource URL with the current repeated data item name. The HTTP method is patch. Under optional inputs, I find the request body. The request body already exists in the HTTP request of the create logic, so I simply head over there, copy it, and paste it in here. Let's have a look of what I need to change here. The string value of task should be the currently repeated item string value task. The boolean value done is the state of the checkbox. So we get that directly from the event. Selecting output of another node, we get all the values the event provides to us. The last one holds the event value. So in case of a checkbox, that should be a true or false. I select it by double clicking on it. Perfect. I save everything and we can test it out. Okay, it works, but the response is very slow. Let's see if we can speed it up. The answer is under variables, data variables, and then in the logic section of our to-dos. Let's read it together to gain a better understanding of what's happening here. So when the page is mounted, the get record collection gets the data from the Firebase. In case that was successful, it sets the data variable to-dos with what it received from Firebase. But this event is only fired once. That's why after a delay of 5000 milliseconds, the get record collection is fired again. And the 5000 milliseconds is the delay that we are experiencing. We could simply change the time to wait to 500, but that would make this even less scalable. Instead, I would simply fetch the data right after updating it. To do this, I go back to view and then the logic of the checkbox. Here I add the get record collection behind the HTTP request and afterwards setting the data variable to do one to the outcome of the get record collection. All right, let's see how that works. Save it and test it. Great, that is a lot faster. Now we know how to update the checkbox and the task. In the next video, we will delete the to-do. See you there.